What is going on guys? Welcome back to Occupy Mars. We are continuing where we left off in the last one. It's uh, about sunrise. We're actually just going to try and head outside before it gets too early. Um, I actually took my helmet off last night. Um, we can actually take it off inside. We're good. Good for external oxygen. Uh, I want to try and see what power we're actually storing before the sun gets up too much. Which means we're not really uh, overly producing. Okay, so that one's full. About this one. Yeah, this one's down a bit. It's not too bad. So, yeah, we're, we're, we've got plenty of power, really. I think maybe sticking in another battery is a good idea, just so then we've got more reserves. As we use more power, we need more reserves types of thing. Right, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to fix our power situation. Today's going to be the last day of power. So uh, we're going to get our electronics out of here. We're going to build uh, the rest of this um, over here, which we should have enough to build it. Uh, and then rerun some power cables. Right, there we go. Right. So let's just disconnect you and then what we'll do is we'll just run temporary power from here out we're just going to run from here into port one in here and then that there's going to be our our uplink for that for now and uh let's hook all these bad boys up as well so how many have we got here we've got five which means i've got four in here which means i'm gonna have to put an expansion in Oh, I didn't think that through, did I? Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, so one can go into one. Uh, two can go into there. I didn't think about this bit, to be honest with you. At all. I forgot that there's only four in here. Uh, I guess the middle one can just go into that one. Uh, this back left one can go into that one. I'm not really too fussed about the what the wires look like. These are just a like a sort of an emergency uh, an emergency thing, right? I don't think the expansions actually cost that much, which they do not really. So I guess if we ever add any more in over here, I've got room to expand. A little bit. Right, there we go. Right. Let me just make sure 100% of the power is getting forced back over here. Which is then is getting forced from there over to the batteries. Which we're about to add another battery to the mix. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? While we're here, we may as well. Right, so we're going to need another um, battery pack. Just going to go right here. And she's going to get built today. I mean, do we have enough aluminium uh, plates? So we're going to need at least one more for this. So, right, uh, what we'll do is I'll build one and then I'm going to calculate how many more aluminium plates I need after that. So we'll just make what we need for now. So, I'm just going to make two aluminium plates, just for now. Two aluminium plates are not going to be too, too bad, so. Right. Let's build this at least. Right, so there you go. That battery's in. Okay, so we're going to build one expansion, two, three, four, five. So, five expansion bays off of that. So, we're going to need... Uh, here we are. So we're going to need five. So it's five times eight. So 16 is two. Double 16 is uh, 34. How many did I say I need? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so 32, right? It's double 16. Uh... Was it? I need 40. 
40 aluminium plates. Jeez, I don't even think I've got enough aluminium for this. Uh, right, aluminium plates. How many can I build? 17 I can build. And we're going to need some more. <laughs> uh, I don't even think I have enough electronics for it either, to be fair. Let's just have a quick look. Electronics, so four per, so uh, four eights. Eh, you know what? Let's just make them. Guess we're just going to start flying through aluminium again. Honestly, I don't know how we're going through it so quickly. Really, we need that. Uh, we need that rock crusher. We need an ASAP, right? Let's just see how many we can build, and then judging on how many we can build, at least then we've got somewhat of a battery up and running. As of now, type of thing. And then I think for the rest of the episode, we're going to go out and go explore a bit. Uh, right, so we want blueprints, we want battery upgrades. Right, let's just start building. One thing I, I hate about um, when we build, you can't snap on non created stuff onto the next one. Like when I grab this, I can't place another one here until I built this one. There we go. Just see how many I can build. I think I might be able to build. That's it. That's all I can build. I can't actually afford this one. Right. That's as far as we can go with that. Okay. Well, I guess what we can do then is. We can at least connect up the batteries, at least. Like so. What we'll do is, I'll just set this to that amount, which will be the biggest output. And what we'll do is, we'll just do from this one to that one. Like so. That one, I think, is actually not doing max. It is now. That's max output into this one. And then this one here just outputs 150. So, yeah, we've got a nice, nice chunk of change coming in. So, let's see how much we've actually got coming in physically. So, power in is 535.9. Uh, uh, that will fluctuate because it's obviously got the um, the wind turbines. But uh, those wind turbines in sandstorms, I think, give about like 800, sorry, 80 each. So that is, uh, yeah, that's quite a lot. <laughs> right, so um, let's go grab what we need to grab. We'll, um, we'll go, we're just going to go and explore, I think, today. So power situation and explore, I think, is going to be the big main games of this one. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just pop that in there and we'll repair that quickly. That's not going to take too long to repair. Uh, while that repairs, we're just going to pop that in there. Um, is there anything I can take out my inventory? Yes. So I don't need that many. I don't need that many pipes. Um, have I doubled up on something in here? Steel plates, aluminium plates. Just think I'm doubled up on something in here. I don't need those. Uh, cement can go in there. Not double, not double, not double, not double, not double, not double. Yeah, yeah, it seems about right. So yeah, we'll leave those in there for now. We should be good. And this is done. So we'll take that. Right, let's go explore, shall we? So I think what we'll do is because we can we're gonna go over to the red one first and then we're gonna probably loop around to the orange one but we may as well just go see what the day brings us and uh yeah we'll leave home for a little bit at least now i don't need to worry that about power too much which is a good thing um we should be able to last a long time if if the power goes off um at least at least a day. 
Not sure if it's a full 24 hours, but it gives us enough time to, uh, to go check things out and fix things if they need fixing. I think like the next big thing I probably need to worry about is uh, like meteor defenses. Luckily, so far, I went, I'm going to probably say this too early. I want to say it now. Oh, 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 oh. We're good. Um, touch wood. Uh, we haven't had any meteors strike yet. Uh, and I am actually physically touching wood, so yeah, we're, we're not going to hopefully jinx ourselves. <laughs> Me saying that too early, because I know what's going to happen now is we're going to get like a meteor shower. And it's going to start wrecking my base. Hopefully not. To be honest with you, I think like your base can actually handle an impact. Oh wow, whoa. Okay, well I know what I'm going to be doing here. Um, I think this is going to be one of my biggest mining spots, I think. Because I'm just going to stop here a second. What are you? Oh. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to mark this on the map and call this one, um... I'm just going to, like, mark it, like, here and then just go, um... Big... Uh... What should we call it? Big... Mine? Uh, big rocks. <laughs> That's what it's going to be called. Big rocks. But yeah, that is going to become a mining spot right there. Um, we're going to probably leave most of this stuff here until we get the probably the heavy rover. Just because mining those, I think, is going to be a heavy rover jobby. Like, look at the size of some of those. I don't think I've actually ever mined those big rocks before. I bet you there's some aluminium in there. Yeah. Uh, that might be a one where we come over here and set up like uh, maybe some big solar panels. Um, a battery of two. And then maybe uh, even have, um, have a rock crusher over here. Because that might be a, a, a big thing. Get lots of materials. Ooh, hello. Down to like 10 FPS because of the thing. I thought they actually fixed that. It, to be honest with you, it doesn't actually last as long as it used to. Like before you would have to like completely come to a stop and then... Uh... And let it finish. But now you just sort of like roll down to a crawl and frame rate jumps back up. It's really weird though still. I think they're still trying to work on that. I know it's... I can't remember what, um, what the game... I think it was like something like Minecraft or something like that had like similar issues. Like when you went in between like um, big chunks. Like back in the day. If I remember rightly. But I'm talking like early like Minecraft days. Yeah, that was one of the games that um, I think I saw online and then actually went and bought the game in its like very early beta stages and uh, actually played it quite a lot. Alright, we are here. Welcome to Grinder Site Alpha. Let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Also getting... Um, getting the grind materials from this is actually probably going to be clutch. Actually, one question. I don't think I upgraded this, did I? In the, uh, in the workbench. Let's have a look. Yeah, I didn't. Damn it. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do is when we go back, I'm going to have to uh, upgrade that. I didn't realise I didn't upgrade it. That's fine. But well, we'll do that tonight when we go back. If I have to, I can always use repair kits. At this stage of the game, like, repair kits are starting to become a little bit less for repairing myself, more for actually 
repairing tools. But yeah, hope everybody's having a good week. It's Friday, um, so happy Friday to you guys. I'm actually excited for this Friday. Um, I've got a lot on... Well, the weekend when you guys are watching this, it's currently the weekend prior to it, so... Um, one, I'm hoping to have my car back by now. I'm hoping. But, um, if you guys missed out on a previous episode, um, I did mention about this. My um, my car has actually gone in for repairs because uh, somebody crashed into the back of it. it wasn't me. It's somebody crashed into me. So stationary on a highway, and somebody uh, yeah crashes into your back of it. That was not fun. It's been an absolute nightmare. Can't wait to get my car back. You don't realise like how much you actually like your own car <laughs> it might it might to be honest with you my car is really nice and uh, i like it a lot i do miss it oh there's a um electronic right there as well Wait. Okay, loads of packs of screws uh am i getting many electronics from this where's electronics in that list uh electronics i've got one <laughs> But yeah, um, hopefully I'll have that back by, hopefully when this video goes live. Um, if you guys are wondering, it's currently Sunday afternoon uh, when I'm recording this. So, yeah. Cannot wait to get that thing back. Can't wait. Do miss it. Want my own car back. <laughs> If not, hopefully I'll have her back soon. Um, probably next week I'll uh, I'll update you guys of where that is. But uh, I don't think it's going to be that much longer. To be honest. Hopefully it shouldn't. I haven't had any updates as of yet. It's only been in getting repaired for a couple of days as of... Well, eh, it, technically they don't work on weekends. So it's it's been in like, two full business days, technically. So... We'll see. Still couldn't get it back as quick as I wanted it though. I do want it back quite quick, but yeah. It is what it is. It takes as long as it takes. Also, the stress of it actually getting fixed and once I've got it back will be hopefully a weight off my shoulders. Because one, once I've got it back and it's repaired, I am, I'm going to be one happy chappy. And hopefully it'll just be like one of those things where I'm just like, ah, it, it, it's done, it's fixed. I don't have to worry about it. We can all get back on with, uh, you know, uh, no, normal day things and then. And get back to put all my stuff back in the car and... Get back to doing normal weekday stuff. <laughs> Goes with you, like loads of things happened last week as well. Like obviously the the whole stress of the car going in to get fixed. Um, then we ended up having uh, an issue with the shower in the house, to where um, it ended up uh, water coming through the ceiling. Uh, and then flooding out the kitchen. So fix that this week. Just a, it was like one thing after another after another after another all week long. So um, hopefully we're back to some sort of normal. Or close to normal as we can get now. Just get the car back and then that's it. I'm done. It was one of the other reasons why um, I've been a bit MIA this week. Was the whole shower situation trying to get that fixed? Spent like a good day getting that fixed. So, oh, how much fun that's been! It's been a fun week. I'm not gonna lie, it's been an absolute nightmare of a week. But um, as you guys, well, when you guys are watching this, this was the week prior. So, ah, it, it's it, we're getting there. There's only one thing left on my to-do list, and that is get my car back. Once I've got the car back, that is it. We are done. I'm happy. 
Probably is Larry. Whoever Larry is, I have no idea. <laughs> there you go, there's a little bit of real life stuff. Uh, probably you guys didn't want to know, but uh, yeah, I've told you, so there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, what have we got in here? Medium circuit ball, probably. Yep. Cool, we're getting some more medium circuit boards. We've got a medium and another small. Put them into here. I do try and keep all my small circuit boards up here. That medium can go there. Yep, there we go. And we've got a couple of pen drives in there as well, which I'm going to need to decode eventually. Um, we're getting to that point, though, where we can decode them. Now what I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to decode them in probably uh, probably this tech tree. But really as soon as I get, w once I get this, I'm getting the science bench and I'm putting that science bench in today. I'm going to start decoding stuff. So yeah, be, be ready for that. There's another thing I can pick up, which I'm pressing all the wrong buttons now. Looks like there's a big circuit board in here actually can't remember what we use the big circuit boards even for now I think I can't remember if the heavy rover uses one or not right okay that's most of this floor done got some uh, cement which is nice guess we'll take out as much of this as I possibly can any scrap I can take, I will take it. I'm not going to, not going to worry too much about the um, the bottles because I think they only give us things like steel plates and stuff. So, not really too but, uh, bothered about that. But I know that these uh, monitors give us. Um, I think it's uh, electronics. Computers give us electronics, I'm not sure what the desks give me. Probably steel and aluminium plates. Yep. I'll take those. Looks like there's another circuit board over here. The small one. Got any circuit boards just get dumped in my circuit board box for now. We've got an abandoned tablet already. Just cool. Guess what we'll do is we'll grind like these big things here don't take too much grinding luckily so we'll uh, grind down these big bad boys and then I think it'll be one of those times where we need to sort of head home what we'll do is we'll um, prepare our tool and then we'll come back out again I want to start coming out a lot more and uh, grinding down these things and looting buildings and hopefully get some beats it, that, that's the thing i'm really looking for at the minute is um is beats that looks like we missed something there on the desk but at the moment i'm not really getting too many uh, like pickups oh, what we got here we've got another small circuit board yeah okay, we're getting loads of small circuit boards which is a good thing and uh, we actually do need them so we'll actually our work hunger we're starting to get low there all right let's get rid of this chair all right, let's see what we can get off of these i'm still, like quite literally trying to find the uh the right place to like grind and things cool that'll be our Technological advancement point, which I need desperately, sort of. Hopefully, we'll get another one uh, by the end of this episode. That means we can uh, crack on with other bits and pieces. You guys actually want to know what um, settings I'm actually playing this game on? I'm playing it all on Ultra as well. Uh, all the highest settings, actually. I didn't actually realise I was playing it on Ultra until I looked 
at some point. Speaking of uh, then on Ultra with my PC, my PC just decided to make a crap ton of noise. Right, anyway, I think we've looted this place. I think we're good. Uh, I'm not sure what, yeah, these only give us small engines. I might as well just take them. It's small engines. We don't have a lot of them. I might as well just take them. Right, let's go check our around outside. If there's anything else I've missed. Don't think I can take these yet. No, I can take these. What I can do as well is I can take these for like small engines. There we go. Take those. Gives me like a small engine each, so might as well just take them if I can, right? Take them for the small engines. Sometimes I wish when you grinded down like the main base, it actually took everything out of it, which it doesn't. Keep on jumping and grab these. Small engine takes us little energy to get them. Might as well get them while we're here. But then, yeah, what we'll do is we'll do like a full day worth of uh, riding and stuff tomorrow. Right, okay. Right, what we'll do is we'll mark this place as BNG. It's been and grinded, if you guys were wondering. And uh, what we'll do is we'll head home. This thing's practically charged itself while we've been inside, so we're all good in the hood. Right, homebound we are. We'll go, um, we'll go repair our grinder, we'll upgrade a grinder. And we are flying. Probably not the best thing to be doing. Sometimes driving in first person is actually a lot harder than it is driving in third, so... I know with, um, with the heavy rover you've got like, quite a nice view out the front. Uh, you can actually see where you're going. Uh, in this thing, not so much of a good view, especially like if you're coming up to a cliff. You're better off in third person than this thing. So that's why I'm driving this thing in third. Right, let's try not to get stuck. Keep up the uh, the speed. How you don't get stuck. We damaged the circuit board, we've got a couple of mediums on us. Medium circuit boards. I think this thing takes. So we don't need to worry too much about that. I think we've got a few circuit boards in our inventory as well, which need uh we need to look at. Once we've uh, had a look at them and made sure that everything Actually while I was over there I should have really had a look at the map to see if there's any more um bases, but should be good. This will be a good indication as well to see how far, how many percentage we've actually used on this thing to get home. Can't wait to grind those big rocks back there. <laughs> get the uh, get the heavy rover over and just start. Uh, that like mass production of uh, destroying them all. One after the other after the other. So much fun. Getting rid of like all these over here as well. Good. Getting calcium and whatever else we need out of them. Yeah, we've still got quite a lot of goals we can work towards as well in this game. Um, I also, I'm going to mention again here now, if you guys want to see me do anything in the game, let me know. 
there's something you want me to go build or stuff like that. I know a few of you have been saying over the last week, move my base down off the hill. Because it's just a waste of time going up and down the hill every day. To be honest with you, I, I want to do something different. Um, I think having it on top of the hill is something different to me. I've never had a base on top of the hill. I've had it in an open land before. Um, it was fun having it open. Not, like not having to go up a hill every day, but uh, I don't know. It, it adds a that's a weird quirk to the um, to the videos and to the let's play here. It's not as like straightforward as you know. You just drive to a random open place and then you get out and you walk in and then you walk back out and you're off you go again type of thing. You know, you got to go up and down a hill. It, it, it added a bit of. Uh, Interest at the beginning of the let's play, let's say. Anyway, so 80, I think that was uh, 80 some percent, 88 percent. I don't know, flashlight. Right, do we need to drop anything off in here? Um, no, don't think I do. Right, I guess what we'll do is we'll go inside. Just making sure I didn't need to drop anything off in there. Uh, so, oh, hold on a second. I need to go get something out of my rover. A rover, Mars truck. Uh, and that is this. Uh, that's got granite too. Okay, right. We'll just leave that open just so I know I've taken that out. Tomorrow. Right. Take off our helmet because we don't really need it on while we're inside of our base. It's just a bit of a waste of oxygen. Right, let's figure out what we're low on here. So we're low on O2 and water. Um, so what I'll do is I'll switch my O2 tanks out and I'll um, I'll refill this. So let's just uh, refill oxygen. Right, while that does that, I'm going to repair this like so. Right, and we can take this out. Give that a close up. I want to know if they're ever going to build like a. You know how you go like the battery rack. I wonder if you can ever. Uh, they're ever going to put it into where you can actually um, fill up your water bottles. That would that would be cool. Right. Okay. So uh, what I don't need uh, in my inventory is another one of those. Uh, that medium one can come out and get repaired. That small one can go in my my spares box, which is over here. So I've got a spares box over here. Um, big one can go into the spares box. Uh, that one can go into there to get repaired. Uh, this small one can also go into that box. Um, right, let's... Uh, start moving some things out of my inventory, which I don't need more of. Solar cells can come out. Uh, so solar cells can go back down there. You can go over there. Steel plates, they can come out. They can go down there. I'm going to go sort out that dehydration here in a second. Uh, aluminium plates, we've got plenty of now. Get in. Uh, you need to be upgraded. Cement can go in there. Uh, helmet can come over here for now. Right. Okay, so we should be finished with doing this. And then what we'll do is we'll grab this one and we'll upgrade it. The next level. Right, let's go sort out our water situation. I think we're starting to take damage, but... There we go. Right, water's refilled. Hunger is low. And I think the rest of our stuff is good to go. So... Really keeping a spare one of these on us is probably actually a good idea. So let's go grab another circuit ball box. Because I've got a spare one in here. Which I tend to take with me when I go out and about. I think, uh, I'm not actually sure what's in these two. So let's go double check to see what's in them. Quickly. Uh, okay, so small, small, big, small. Okay, so there's nothing really much in there. Ah, this is my broken circuit ball box. Okay, so... Anything that's broken, what needs repairing, is in that one. K, 
Okay, so that needs to go in there to get repaired. Uh, that's my spare one. And that's my abandoned tablets, which we're going to open at the end of the episode. Um, Because I want big money now. One means. Right, okay, let's go sleep. Let's sleep until morning. And then we'll head back out again. Sleep until six. So, let's go do that. A few hours. So yeah, um, we don't really need to worry about superpower, it's at 75%, we're good probably for the day. Um, I don't think we need anything else, so let's pick this bad boy up. So, that, there we go, we've got that back, so what we'll do is we'll go put that back in our, um, back in its place. We're good on food, we're good on water, we've got everything else ready, so let's just head back out then, shall we? I am ready for another day's worth of adventures. Hopefully you guys are too. As well, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm actually just going to disable that red one. Because we've been there, done that. We've got the t-shirts. Right, let's head out, shall we, straight away? Don't need to worry about too much of anything else. Right, okay, you can go back in there. Just in case we need you. We probably won't, but uh just close that. Um, you know what, while we're here and we've got the resources, let's see if we can finish off building this. Which I'm pretty sure I can, so. Like it literally does help going out and actually getting materials. Because then you can just come back and then you can just do this. Done. Right, what we'll do is I'm just going to set this to the highest number ever. There we go. I think I can't get that any higher. There we go. Right, let's head on out, shall we? Let's... Uh, Three full batteries, which are going to charge up and look after our base for us. Alright, we're 90% on the vehicle. I'm going to go head over to the yellow marker today. We're heading quite far out, but that's okay. We should have more than enough inventory space to do everything we want to do. Yeah, we can actually start heading further afield now, like, we've we've got the vehicles to do it. I think, um, like, on my last playthrough, I d we didn't obviously have the, uh, the little motorbike, and we also didn't have this thing. So, th obviously, this has changed the way you sort of are at the beginning of the game, which is really nice, actually. It's a nice change of pace. Really nice change of pace. Just we can just come out here and we can do all of this stuff. Uh, well, actually, let's try not to kill ourselves. <laughs> I'm literally just taking risks right now. I'm just trying to get to point A to point B as fast as I can, because I want to grind as much as I can. Being out over here before, I'm pretty sure. Use my good old microphone mute button. If you guys don't hear me do a random cough, then you know, I've got like a cough button. Microphone mute button. I think they actually call it a cough button on the, uh, in the, uh, in the software. <laughs> I think if I talk to somebody quickly, like, uh, I need to quickly mute the microphone, I just press, reach over, press the button. Oh wow, there's like loads of stuff over here to mine as well. Holy moly. I just can't wait to set up like the, the mines and stuff like that, which they actually have in the game now. 
place. I think we've been here before. I'm not sure if we fully grinded everything down though the last time we were here. Oh, hold up. That was a like spike. Right, this is a like spike. Right, let's just all ahead stop. Okay, we're good. Back up to over 60 FPS. Get in. Right. Okay, so I think what we'll do is I'm going to mine all of these because these give us goods materials they give us like steel plates and stuff and small pipes I tend to be using a lot of those at the minute so always good just to get a little bit more I'm interested to do uh, to see what um, mine on like a bigger scale is going to be now I'm also excited to see like what they're going to do with like multiplayer because uh, it's, it's uh, I think it's now more in like the they've got like the assets in the game now. Like when you go to start like a new game, you've got like the co-op stuff now. So I don't think that used to be there, or if it used to be there, it, I never really noticed it. But I'm now starting to notice it a lot more. So I'm guessing they're working a lot more on the multiplayer. So it'll be interesting to see how that works, or how it's going to work. I don't know if you're going to be able to like. Um, have friends and then invite them that way off how are you gonna really host the game and then invite them in I'm not sure how that's gonna work or how they're gonna do it I'm intrigued to see how they're gonna do it like is it gonna be like similar to like how they do uh, how minecraft does their type of thing like are you gonna have to host a server or a what but hey okay. whichever way it goes it's gonna be fun I think right so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna mark this one as um, BNG because we've been and grinded it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start marking up all these bad boys over here because we've got quite a few I think that's a point of interest over there as well and I do apologize because I've got the hiccups right okay so Just because it's easier to copy and paste, we'll copy and paste. Hopefully Windows 11 is not going to do a Windows 11 thing where it doesn't allow you to copy and paste properly, which it's letting me to that at the moment. It's good. Water source down there as well. Hopefully when we uh, start heading like really, really far away from the base, We'll go start setting up like uh, like little outposts and stuff. Uh, I have ideas for that, so I think that's a meteorite there. That's what the ME and stood for at the time. Right, I guess what we'll do is uh, I'm just gonna untrack that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head north. I'm gonna hit up this one, then this one, and then double back down and grab a couple more if I can. We're going to try and get as many as we can today. Actually, you want to know what might be a good idea? Let's track the damn things. <laughs> so I know which one I'm going to. I think I've accidentally just popped down another one. Yeah, I did. Uh, remove from list. No. Uh, remove. There you go. And what I'm going to do. Actually, yeah, I forgot you've got like a list, haven't you? So you've got home and home stuff ah, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna mess with that not right now we've messed with it before in the past it, it does work it helps a lot but we're just gonna mark that one up for now right okay let's go I want to try and at least get two done today if we can and maybe just head home and then get the um, get the uh, station up and running because if we can we can get the small rock crusher and then we can do some rock crushing. Hell yeah. Hopefully I can get some beats from this as well. Um, on these types of buildings, there's a lot of things to grind. So I think what we might do is we might just... We might just see what we can grab. Make kit. They always come in useful. If we need them. Maris. 
Okay, so we've got med kits. We've got... I think that might have been beetroot. Beets. Yes, we have. We've got some beets. Which means we're going to start making some better food. Hell yeah. Next episode's going to be a food episode, guys. Definitely. We're going to be building some proper food next. Which means I'm going to have to start getting uh, our base prepped for round two. It looks like I can't get rid of this yet. Okay, we've got another plate there. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to get today if we could get some beets. Oh. You guys have no idea <laughs> how much weight that literally just felt lifted off my shoulders right there. Now that we've got beets because we can make some good MREs. Or start making some good MREs. I might take a couple of growths though to get um to get enough beets to be able to make them properly, but At least we can start to get some good food. Or some better food than what we're currently eating. More nutrition and stuff like that, so. Oh. <laughs> and then we just need to go around and collect. I think it's lettuce and cabbage, I think, next. But um we're we're sort of on the brink of where we can uh, we can start to uh get those. Uh, what I'm probably going to do on this one is I'm not going to grind everything down. So I'm probably just going to put on a bean. That there's a... Not sure how I'm supposed to grab that. Battery and I want it. Screw it. I'm just going to take out the shelf. We're getting glass plates from this. Sweet. There you go. Soup battery. Anything over here? Doesn't look like anything over here. Making sure I've got all of this. I have. Okay, it looks like we've got everything in here. Which is a good thing. I think really right now we're just going on a bit of a looting spree. Like this type of building as well is a bit of a pain in the ass to uh, to grind down. So I guess if we ever need to come back here, we uh, we can. Like boards. Whatever's in here, I'm guessing a med kit. Because all, like, all these walls and everything can be taken down, so it's uh, a little bit easier to just take what we can and then come back for the rest. The good thing is we've got like electronics out of here. I wonder if they'll ever bring these panels in. I think that's actually stuff there below the ground too. Which sometimes is a thing. Things sometimes do spawn underneath the uh, the grounds, or like they fall through, or something like that when they spawn in. It used to be a huge thing a while ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all of these uh, panels and stuff, just because the panels give us like solar cells to give us a lot of good stuff. Like the the insides do give you some good stuff as well, but. We'll come back to these ones. The, the, to be honest with you, like if they've got, if it's like that base over there, what we're currently looking at on the left, on the right as well, we can take down a lot of the exterior stuff, so I can grind most of that down. With this one here, we'll just put a we'll put a B on it, which means we're being looted it. Been and taken the minimal amount of loot. We'll take the solar panels because they don't take too long to uh, to grind and stuff. Like the wells and stuff like that, they give us good resources. Trying to minimise what I'm mining. I want to try and get as many abandoned tablets as we can. 
that want to try and progress stuff. And then as soon as we can progress stuff, we can start coming back and actually grind things down properly. And we can come back and spend a day out over here and just grind if we need to. Especially once we've got the heavy rover as well. Oh, sleep depth, we're going to have to just deal with that for a while. I tend to not go to bed early enough, I think. I don't know how many hours of sleep you actually need to stop that from popping as much. Actually, let's have a look. Um, the inventory, yeah. Uh, Hunger's low, that's low. I don't know if like the tightness goes up and fills up, or what. I think it does. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have a look later. So it's about... Um, like three quarters so I'll have a look at it towards the end of the day like we're only just at one o'clock in the afternoon so I'm hoping to maybe go get at least another two more places done today if we can even if we just loot them I'm just trying to get as much as these solar panels will give me got like three left Then we're done. Trying to uh, trying to get at least more points in this skill as well. But uh, let's have a look quickly. Uh, victory. Yeah, we've got one point here. That means I can get the science bench. Which I think I've already unlocked this. So I can get the small crusher. I'm sure, yeah, I unlocked the big crusher last time. So I had that one like straight away. Don't think I ever built the hangar though. We've got things like the miners now as well. We've got like a small miner over here. We've got like a big miner. Don't think I built the main HQ either. Yeah, then we can maybe start going down here and checking out some more of this stuff. So. We've got some uranium rods as well, which we can use. Already. Which is nice. Don't get me wrong. Right, last one. Then we're moving away from this base. Well, market has been. I wonder if that botany point's just stuck. <laughs> it's stuck on three. If yeah, we're done. I think that's a probe right there, too. Let's go get that probe as well while we're here. I've just spotted it, so if, while we're here, we might as well get it, right? right so, this one's going to be the first one where we just mark with bean now right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and get that probe I don't think we go very fast in reverse but should be okay may as well get the probe while we're here it's a bit silly if I've just spotted it and it's here every little helps new message, new message. Right, and I think the next one is a little bit further north, if I remember rightly. Don't see it though. Right, okay, what we'll do is we'll stop, we'll get out, and we'll uh, pop it on the map. Yeah, so the next one's over here, look. And then what we'll do is we'll come back down and maybe get these two. Maybe just come here and then go there, and then home. I think. Track it. Go, 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 gadget. Super fast truck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do a cool stuff we can get from this place. I think as well, like, um, like getting like the better grinder. Okay, it's one of these buildings. Okay. This one's not going to have much grinding to do with it. It's going to be mostly just running around the building getting what we can. Right, let's go in and 
crack on. So this one's going to be a fairly easy one. Let's just run around it, see what we can grab and get it and go. I guess we'll go right first, I think. I think some of the stuff's actually below the ground, look. Which sucks. Not so far. I haven't found anything. Not so far. Diddly squat. We have found. We got some MREs. Right, these are just easier just to grind down. Then get the stuff out of them. Looks like some small engines, some processed food, and not sure what was in the first one. Oh, solid rocket fuel. Nothing to write home about. Uh, right, let's head inside and see what we can get. So we've got the vinyl tablet. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Solar cell. Isn't this probably supposed to be a small circuit board in here? Vision by what's below the ground. I think it would have to, uh, what I had to do is to fix that before is I have to uh, reload the game but I have to save, reload and come back but when we come back to grind down the structure we'll, uh, I'll just mark it as bean um, I'll put like go back probably on the, uh, on the waypoint just so we know that we need to come back and I'm trying to repair that Yep, I think this one is pretty much done. Not really much we can really grind on this one, so... There we go, full circle. Wow. Right, let's mark it, shall we? So we'll mark as... Uh, bean need to... Go back. There we go. So I know I need to come back here eventually. Right, I guess what we'll do is we'll go check out the other two places. Plenty of time left in the day. This thing's like constantly charging as well, which <laughs> makes it really, really nice. But yeah, we can go plant some beets, which I think that's what we'll try and maybe do at the uh, back end of today. We'll maybe even, because we're going to have to plunk, uh, plunk them in the incubator, so um, even if we just plunk them in the incubator and just leave them to do the things, we should be good. Just get there, shall we? Looks like this is the base we need to go to next. Or is it behind this one? This is the one where we've been before. No. This is the right one. Right. I guess what we'll do is we'll park here. This one's got like a lot of grinding to do on it. So what we'll do is we'll grind it as well while we're here. I guess what we'll do is, I'm only going to uh, grind down the exterior, not the interiors. Obviously do need the points, but... Grind down the easy things. Take what we can. Uh, anything else in here? Food. 
Can't see anything else. Let's move on. Another soup battery. Loads of those goddamn soup batteries now. I think I've got more soup batteries than I know what to do with. It'd be great for like um if a multiplayer. All have like a soup battery each constantly. Did you mention though like how much like how many greenhouses you would have to have though to um to keep like if you've got like four people in your world, imagine how much food you would have to produce just to uh just to keep four people alive. It would be an absolute boat ton. Uh, sometimes it's good checking the nose by the way guys. <laughs> There's our abandoned tablet in this place. This is what the beds look like when they've, uh, they've got stuff in them. Uh, always checking these though, just in case they've got seeds or some good stuff inside of them. Sometimes they, they hide. Go around and press Q, uh, sorry, not Q, Z. And it, uh, it reveals all of the like loot locations. This stuff looks like there's a circuit board up there. I think there's something out there. Nothing down here. Trying to get towards the end of the day now as well. What I might do is I might just run around these last two places. Not grind anything though. Take the loot. Yep, that's this, this done. More or less done. Another suit battery. <laughs> uh, large circuit board, we'll take that. That's everything. Making sure I haven't missed anything before we we go. Yep, I've got everything. What we'll do is we'll mark this one as bean. We haven't grinded anything yet, so right, what we'll do is we're gonna move some of this out of our inventory because it's starting to get a little bit full. little bit full. Right. Let's mark this place. Just been. What we'll do is we'll track this one as well and I'm just gonna name it before we go just so I don't have to name it again. Right, let's go. Last place and then we'll go home and we'll also open our abandoned tablets as well. We've got a couple of things we need to do when we get back. To come back out here just to grind these as well might be a, a huge thing we do. Especially like these two last places we've just been doing. That one over there. So yeah, there's three, there's three things over here we need to we need to come back and grind. So, that shouldn't be too bad. Right, let's see what we've got. Anything out over here? Because usually sometimes they hide things out. Like, look all these wells. I think a lot of stuff on wells. There's our abandoned tablet. I guess we'll turn on our flashlight as well. Actually, you know what? I might not even have the time to... Uh... Oh, this place is not huge, is it? So I really want one of these airlocks, though. I really, really do. Good airlocks. Always check behind these as well, because sometimes there's stuff in there. Okay, 
Okay, what we got? We've got gas plates, more rockets, large circuit boards. And go into there for now. Not seeing anything else in here. Really, I'm also looking for seeds. Mostly. Okay, I think this is our other way in and out. Yep. Uh, guess another suit battery. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't know what's with the suit batteries. Really don't. Bed in here. This is quite in good nick, to be fair. Uh, right, let me just turn this off just so I can see if I've missed anything. No, I haven't. Okay. Right, home. We'll come back here at some point. Right, lights on. Exterior view. We'll be back at some point. So, right, what time is it in game? We're at about half. No, but to be honest with you, it's not really that late. We just need to get home. Really, we're a good like 2,000 meters away from home, so it's going to be a little drive back. But uh, I think in tomorrow's episode, we'll plant the beets. We'll start, uh, we'll do our last, probably, uh, dual potato harvest. Actually, no, we'll continue with the dual potato harvest. So, um, we'll obviously still be making potatoes as food. Just not as much. Um, we'll obviously increase our production for um, for beets. So we might be living off potatoes just a while longer, but we won't be making as many as we currently are. Um, actually, no. We'll, I think we'll, we'll continue to make as many as we are, just not as many, many. That makes sense. But we're gonna not make many um, MREs. I think the rest of it's going to... I think we're going to start moving it, that to fertilizer. Uh, so we'll probably uh, start putting some stuff in towards fertilizer instead. Because uh, we're not going to be making as many MREs, which will cut down on the amount we make for a little while. Because we don't really need as many MREs as we're making, especially when we've got beets. Um, we'll probably end up making, well, to be fair, we'll probably end up making most of our beets into more seeds just to start with. So, we're probably not going to have any spare. But that should be okay until we get enough to start making MREs with. And then we can make MREs like, uh, like nobody's business. And then we've got some. Okay, MREs until we get uh, the other um, ingredients which we need, which is lettuce and pumpkins, I do believe. And then, is it lettuce? I think it's let lettuce, cabbage, and pumpkins we need to make the, the best MREs in the game, if I remember rightly. But we're not too far off in the grand scheme of things. Let's, uh, let's get up our, our hill. Once we're up our hill, we'll, uh, we'll head inside, and then we'll go closer we towards the end. Yeah, we're we're really really close. So we'll start out our our inventory next time. We'll try not to flip the vehicle. Oh great! I've um I flipped the vehicle. Great that is, isn't it? After all of that trying to to, uh, to not flip it, I flipped the damn thing. At least I flipped it close to home. Seems to keep going, it's going, it's going, it's going. 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 There we go, we're back, we're back on our feet. <laughs> Well, on our feet, on our wheels, I should really say. 
There we go. That, that, that is a good way to end it, eh? <laughs> Along with some dehydration. I think we're good on power. We're good on everything else. So, base should be good to be powered. We haven't hit any of the disasters or anything since now and then. So, I'm quite happy. Right. Out we pop. Let's head inside for the last time today, shall we? Or this week. And then next week we'll uh, we'll get on with what we need to get on with. So I think first things first. Let's, uh, let's drink some water. Or fill our water bottle up anyway. There we go. We can turn that off. Can we take off our helmet? Here we can. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this one here. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and everything so far. If you guys are, please do hit that like button. If not, there's that dislike button right next door. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next one or in the next week's worth of videos. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.